Hello, everyone. I'm Xiang Yu Zhao from Michigan State University. Thanks for attending this talk about field of wear embedding dimension search in recommended systems. This is a joint work with LinkedIn and GD.com. So, in real world recommended systems, they usually contain hundreds of feature fields. These fields come from users, item, contextual information, and their interactions. So deep recommended systems typically transform these features into embedding vectors. However, in most existing systems, they assign the same embedding dimension to all feature fields. I think this will use the embedding memory inefficiently. I think there are two reasons. One is actually an embedding's dimension often decides its ability to capture information. So if we simply assign the same dimension to all feature fields, we may lose the information of important features, but waste memory on unimportant ones. For example, the location feature is very important in location-based recommended system, so we should assign it a large dimension. So another reason is actually different feature fields have different number of unique values. For example, the gender feature has only two, male and female, but the user ID feature contains millions of unique values. So basically, we should assign a larger embedding dimension to the field with more values. Then we can encode more information of them and capture their relationship with other features. So according to these two reasons, we should assign different dimensions to different feature fields. But actually, this task is also very challenging. The first challenge is the relationship among embedding dimensions, feature distributions, and the neural network architectures is very complex. In other words, they are highly depends on each other. If we change one, others will also change. So this makes it harder to manually adjust the embedding dimension separately. This is about the first challenge. Another challenge is actually real-world recommended systems often contain hundreds of feature fields. If we assign k candidate dimension to each field, then the total search space is m power of k. So this is a very large search space. So manually selecting from all combinations is very expensive in both time and computation. To address these two challenges, we propose an auto ML based model, auto dim. Our model can automatically select the embedding dimensions to different feature fields. This is the overview of our framework. We have two stages. In the dimension search stage, we first assign a set of candidate embeddings to each feature field. These candidates have different dimensions. And then we will unify all candidate embeddings to the same dimensions. This is because we will fit the embeddings into MLP layers later. The input dimension of MLP is predefined and fixed. So it cannot handle various embedding dimensions. So we need to first unify the candidate embeddings. And finally, we weighted sum all the transformed embeddings and fit them into the MLP layers. Here, the weighted sum probabilities are also trimmable and they mirror the contributions of different candidate embeddings. After the search model converts, we will go to the parameter retraining stage. According to the well learned width on candidate embeddings, we can select the optimal embedding dimension for each feature field and uh, return the model parameters. So the next question is, how can we design the two-stage framework? I will introduce one by one. For the dimension search stage, first question is how to assign a set of candidate embeddings to each feature field. We propose two methods. The first is separate embedding. Here, we directly assign multiple candidate embeddings for a given feature. The candidates have different dimensions, and they are separate to each other. But this way has two challenges. One is actually it needs a huge space to store all candidate embeddings. And another challenge is the training efficiency is degraded, since we need to learn a lot of parameters. To address this challenge, we propose the weight sharing embedding. Here, we only assign one embedding for a given feature, and then the candidate embeddings can share the weights in this embedding. For example, the red part are shared by all the candidates. This design can reduce the storage space 
and improve the retraining efficiency. Also, because the front part, such as the red part, it has more chance to be retrieved and then be trained, so it can capture more important information of the feature. These are the two methods we assign candidate embeddings. Once we have the candidate embeddings, second question is how to unify them to the same dimensions. The reason I just mentioned before, this is because the MLP layer cannot handle various dimensions. We also proposed two methods to unify candidate embeddings. One is linear transformation. For each candidate embedding, we multiply it with a weight matrix, so in this way, we can transform it into the same dimension. And then, because we found that the values of transformed embeddings are often in the different scale, this makes them not comparable. So we use batch norm to push the values of all candidate embeddings into the same scale. And finally, the weights on the candidate embeddings can measure their contribution in the final prediction. This is the linear transformation method. Also, inspired by the zero padding method from computer vision, we can also pad short embeddings to the same length with zeros. The advantage of zero padding is actually it will not introduce any trainable parameters, so it can be faster. So these are the two methods we unify the candidate embeddings. Next, we weighted some all the transformed embeddings and fit them into the inference layer. Our question here is actually selecting the best dimension from candidate is a hard selection, so using a traditional softmax can degrade the selection accuracy. But directly use a hard selection will make the search framework not differentiable, so we introduce Gumpel softmax to simulate the hard selection. The temperature of Gamble Softmax control how hard the selection is. We first set a large temperature to generate even probabilities. This can ensure all candidate embeddings to be well pre-trained. Then we gradually decrease the temperature and the selection become harder. Finally, we weighted some of the transformed embeddings by the Gamble Softmax probabilities. Next, we pass the weighted sum embeddings through the inference layer to calculate the predictions. In this paper, we choose the cross entropy loss for CTR prediction problems, but our model can also use other loss functions for other recommendation tasks. Next, I will talk about how to optimize the framework. In this model, we have two set of parameters, the normal recommend system parameters W and the weighted sum probabilities alpha. We jointly update them by solving a bi-level optimization problem. Here we alternately update W on training set and update alpha on the validation set. This alternate training method can prevent the model from selecting the embedding dimensions that overfit the training data. Once we have the field learned weighted sum probabilities, we can select the embedding dimension for each feature field and retrain the model parameters. I think here we have some questions to answer for retraining. The first question is why we need retraining. This is because in the dimension search stage, the model performance is also influenced by the suboptimal embedding dimensions, so we should remove them and retrain the model. The second question is why we still unify the selected embeddings into the same dimension. The reason is actually in most existing deep recommend systems, they capture the interaction between two feature fields by their inner product. This inner product operation requires the embedding vectors to have the same dimension, thus we still need to unify them. And finally, since in retraining stage, there is no comparison between candidate embeddings, so we can remove the batch norm functions. Okay, these are the three questions for the retraining stage. Next, I will introduce the requirement. So our model is quite general for any deep recommend system with embedding layers. In this paper, we select the famous FM, wide and deep, and deep FM as examples. We conduct experiments on two benchmark datasets, and we have five candidate dimensions from 2 to 32. We use three metrics to evaluate our model. First, a higher AOC or a lower log loss means a better recommendation performance. 
The third matrix EP is the number of embedding parameters based on the selected dimensions. A lower EP means it uses fewer embedding parameters. We compare our model with three groups of baselines. The first is FDE. It simply assigns the maximum dimension 32 to all feature field. It has the worst recommendation performance and the largest EP. This result shows that assigning the same dimension to all feature fields, it will not only waste memory, but also downgrade the model performance. The second group of baselines assign different embedding sets to different feature values within the same field. For example, in the gender field, male and female have different embedding sets. The major challenge of this group is actually their search space is very large. For example, in critical data set, there are 30,000 feature values in each field, so it takes a lot of search time and it's difficult to find the optimal solution. But our model only has five candidate dimensions for each feature field. The third group is similar to our model. They try to assign different dimensions to different feature fields, but they achieve this goal in different ways. The first one is a random search. Each time it randomly selects the dimensions for each feature field, so this method still has a large search space. The second one, ADS, is a variance of our model. It updates both W and alpha on the training data, so it can lead to the overfitting problem. And finally, we find that our model achieves the best recommendation performance, and at the same time, it can save 70 to 80% embedding parameters. This result proves the effectiveness of our framework. Okay, to summarize, in this paper, we propose an auto dim model. It can automatically select the proper dimension for a different feature field. Our model can be applied to any deep recommend system with the embedding layers. It can save a lot of embedding parameters, and at the same time, it can significantly improve the recommendation performance. Our work is supported by NSF grant and the Triple W Student Scholarship Award. For more details of the work, please refer to our paper. Thanks for listening.